Hey everybody, I'm Pastor Sean, and I have your word for the day. Today's word has an interesting command attached to it. Uh, it's 1 Corinthians 14, 20, and it says this. Brothers and sisters, stop thinking like children. In regard to evil, be infants, but in your thinking, be adults. You see, right before Paul says this to the church at Corinth, he was going on about them not being caught up in speaking in tongues. In context, he's keeping them accountable to not being overly fascinated with the matters that don't spread the gospel. Instead, he wants them to be wise and discerning with what they spend their time and investment in. He goes on to tell us that prophecy is actually more appropriate because it's the idea of calling people up and out of their sin and showing them the clear picture of what it means to follow God for them specifically. And Paul says focusing too much on something like tongues is really just for those who are already believers and not the lost or the broken and those who really need to hear about God. He likens their obsession to tongues to that of being a child, unwise and narrow-minded. And this is where my question to you is. Does Paul's rebuke to the Corinthian church resonate with you at all? Is there anywhere in your church life that you need to repent from childish thinking? And I'm not just talking about tongues. Are you hyper-focused on something within the church culture that has nothing to do with sharing the gospel? And like a child, are you incessantly trying to have things done your way rather than what's needed for reaching the lost and the broken of this community? Personally, I think this applies to every Christian at some point in their lives. We come to Christ a certain way. We remember how the music was or wasn't. We remember how preachers used to preach or what they used to teach on. We remember those things that brought us to Christ so fondly without recognizing that some of those things may just be personal preference. And those things are not gospel. Gospel is gospel. And one thing I know about our God in heaven is that he can reach people to the very ends of the earth and deliver the good news of Jesus Christ, and it will look nothing like the day you were saved. And the implication is we get so stuck on so many little things without asking the question, without getting heretical, without changing the gospel, what is the best way the lost and broken will hear the good news? Operate your life off of this question, and every day God will lead you to accomplish the great commission given in Matthew 28. You'll no longer be like children in your thinking and your faith, and God will lead you to serve, love, and share the gospel with those around you in a more meaningful way. Calvary, be blessed, and I hope you have a moment to read the full chapter of Corinthians 14 for the context of this command, to stop thinking like children in regards to evil, be infants, but in your thinking, be adults. Have a great day, Calvary.